You'd think we were in Seattle, but we're not. Windy and stormy. All right, y'all, today's video is all about shooting slow-mo on your phone. We are gonna go through the ins and outs, how to do it, and also when to use it. We also have two other very special announcements. Anamorphic's in stock! Anamorphic's in stock! Anamorphic's in stock! All right, anamorphic lens is in stock. <laughs> And that's just the first bit of good news. The second bit of good news is that we now have video for Android. Let's just let that sink in for a second. These are two features that you guys have been asking for, maybe almost yelling at us about for a while now, and we are so stoked to have our anamorphic lens in stock, Android for video, and to get you guys shooting. This is getting nasty out here. All right, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so before we get started shooting slow-mo, there are a few things to note. The first is that when you're shooting slow-mo, you want to follow the 180 degree rule. This is true for all frame rates. So if you're shooting 60 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be 120. If you're shooting 120 frames per second, then you want your shutter speed to be 240 and so on. So because of this, today we are going to be using a filter mount. Moment makes a filter mount, which you can attach 62 millimeter filters. This allows us to get the correct shutter speed because today, though a little cloudy, does have some sun poking through. So if we didn't have a filter mount, then we would be shooting the wrong shutter speed, which would make our footage look less cinematic. One of the nice things about slow-mo is you can actually cheat your shutter speed a little bit. So when more than 24 frames which like you have to shoot 148 let's say if you're shooting 60 frames you can actually bump that to 150 200 if you don't have an ND filter just know that the further you go from that cinematic shutter speed the less cinematic it'll probably look all right so the next thing I want to talk about is when to use slow-mo now hands down the most cinematic look is 24 frames, shot at 148th shutter speed, and it's like a well-directed movie. It's like, it looks how it's supposed to look, but slow-mo has tons of uses and is awesome. The first reason you use slow-mo is just to build drama. It kind of slows things down and makes it more moody. That's why you see a lot of filmmakers and content creators using slow-mo, because it just makes everything look cooler whether you're walking like flipping your hair doing whatever it just looks more dramatic so when shooting slow-mo a good rule to live by is the more action the higher the action the more stuff is just going crazy in that frame the slower you can make it what you want to avoid is shooting something that doesn't have a lot of action in 240 I'll show you an example right here of just how it kind of looks like nothing's really happening All right, so if you're asking yourself right now, Niles, how are you getting all these right shutter speeds and all these really nice manual controls? Well, the answer is the Moment app. So like I said earlier, uh, we now have video for our Android app, which is awesome. We've had it for iOS for a while, but we are stoked to bring manual features to the Android app. For those of you who have downloaded it or are about to go download it, one, thank you. We are so stoked. This is our first iteration of the Android app, so it's definitely like a V1. There are tons of other features that we want to include so if you guys have any feedback or any uh yeah just any insight any encouragement then send us an email and that will immediately go to our app team and they'll just be so to hear from you guys For. Just like a YouTube video. Sweet spot. All right, so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is different shot styles when using slow motion. So my favorite two are basically a push in and a pull out. Basically what's cool is you can have a bunch of stuff kind of in the foreground with your subject a little far away. Push through that, that stuff. It's kind of this dramatic 
look and you see a, a, a lot of motion in the frame so it warrants using slow-mo. Um, so right now I'm gonna show you some of those shots and use 60 frames. Another cool thing about shooting slow-mo uh, and with those shots is you actually don't need a gimbal. If you're shooting like 120 or even 240 because it's so slow, it actually takes some of that jitter of your hands away. So if you like don't have a gimbal and you wanna get some push in and push out or some other cinematic shots, then that is a great time to use slow-mo. All right, so now that we're done shooting, uh, it's time to go into post-production and I'm gonna show you uh, the two best ways to make your footage look amazing in post. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to interpret and slow down your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna keep it quick. I would show you what um, my office looks like, but it's a mess and it's in a garage and it's not ready yet, so that'll just have to wait. All right, so first, I'm gonna assume that you guys already have your clip in your project. Um, so here's the clip. The first way is to highlight, go to modify, go to interpret footage. Once you're there, you'll see right here frame rate. You say assume frame rate is 24. And then because this is a anamorphic clip, I'm going to conform it. So then when you open the clip, here it is. It's just already slowed down. So I'll hit play real quick and show you. This clip was kind of lame, so I didn't use it. Um, but that's what it looks like slowed down. The other way is just to drag it onto your timeline. Keep existing settings. So now, the other way is to right click on this little FX tab. We'll go to um, time remapping, speed. So now, if you go in a little bit, you can set keyframes to where it starts to slow down. And this is how you speed ramp. So I'll set a keyframe there, there. Again, this is just an example, just kind of going quick. And then when you watch it, it's real time, and then it slows down, and then it ramps back out. All right, those are the two ways. It's, uh, it's finally sunny again. Paint says hi. Don't do those things, buddy. Okay, go away. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, these do's and don'ts, these tips on shooting slow-mo were super helpful. Slow-mo is a very useful tool. Um, it's not something to just rely on solely. Uh, 24 frames, again, is the cinematic look, but slow-mo has a lot of uses and we use it a ton and it's great. If you have an Android, be sure to check out the Moment app and if you're interested in our anamorphic lens, just remember these are now in stock, so go pick one up because this is by far my favorite lens that we make. Also, if you're new around here or you just stumbled upon this video or other videos or something, um, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe. We never really ask people to subscribe, but it's something that, you know, we want you guys to be a part of our community and uh, would love to have you guys around for other videos. So, um, subscribe. I think that's what all the YouTubers say. Just subscribe.